Good morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session Tuesday, the 16th of January 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so we've got another potential record high with the S&P now smashing through 2800. We've got the uh, Nasdaq above 6800. Uh, we have uh, a, a resurrection in the European equities this morning on the back of that news. Uh, that's because come out literally with regards to the ECB. Uh, apparently, uh, so-called sources. Uh, ECB will be a huge will she, won't she? So basically, it's a, a reference with regards to unlikely to next week to drop pledge to keep buying bonds until inflation heads to target. So certainly a dovish headline after yesterday's Mr. Hansen's hawkish rhetoric. Okay, so it certainly seems like they want to keep the euro at bay. Uh, and uh, certainly seem uncomfortable with a stronger euro. That certainly is helping the dollar index as well, certainly uh, a rally as well. Okay, especially with uh, European bonds certainly into potential support as well, so that certainly is helping at this juncture. So European equities certainly rallying off that. Stronger euro certainly fails to uh, uh, trigger a sell-off in European equities, and that mainly helped by, obviously, US equities ripping higher as well. Okay, now oil prices certainly dropping this morning, here, certainly holding that double top scenario. Copper price is certainly dropping as well, so we are looking at risk aversion certainly kicking in here. Okay, so in terms of the uh, market at present, let's uh, let's see exactly where we stand. Uh, let's see what the uh, status quo is. Asian markets overnight certainly higher. We have the uh, Hang Seng certainly breaking to new highs. That's certainly helping. Nikkei certainly pushing up one percent as well. In terms of uh, economic data around this morning, really it's all about uh, German uh, inflation numbers coming in more or less in line. Okay, uh, we've had uh, UK inflation numbers coming in slightly weaker than expected, which in turn has helped the uh, UK FTSE uh, to a large extent, but commodity prices weaker certainly is forcing the FTSE lower, so bear that in mind as well. Okay, now in terms of the technical picture, let's look at the uh, German DAX, as you can see here on the back of that ECB news story, German DAX certainly rallying now, okay, as you can see here. Daily chart, the German DAX certainly pushing higher here as well. Uh, we do have resistance at the moment still at uh, 13,420, so watch out there. Uh, there is an unfilled gap as well that needs to be closed as well here at uh, 13,390 as well, so watch out for that potential gap. On the 10-minute chart, as you can see here, certainly ripping higher. We had this uh, initial rally, uh, gap higher, sell-off into gap fill, and then we've been rallying ever since, especially in the back of that ECB news story. So very, very impressive thus far. Again, the next potential level to see is a gap fill at 13,385, We've got resistance at 13,400, and then we've got resistance at 13,420. So let's see how that plays out for the remainder of the day. The French CAC certainly is lagging to a large extent, even with the news with regards to the QE. We're certainly at double top again now for the French CAC. Let's see how that uh, certainly transpires. Be interesting to see. We still have an unfilled gap left behind at 5,470. 10 minute chart as well. Let's just see here now. 10 minute chart, really nothing. From that perspective, it's breaking out higher. I have to respect that now. Even with a stronger euro, the uh, French CAC failed to uh, sell off, which was quite impressive. Uh, again, that was something I was expecting, and, and yet it's failed to do so, and with US equities certainly pushing and breaking to new highs. Okay, so double top on the French CAC. Keep an eye on that. In terms of the FTSE 100, we've already made an intraday double top here at uh, 7,790 in the back of weaker commodities, so bear that in mind. 60-minute chart at the moment, you're still oscillating between uh, in and out, so I'm going to do that for now. As long as we continue to hold support at 7760, it's going to be very hard for the FTSE to break down, and that's what I was expecting, especially with regards to Korean news, so on and so forth. So you've got political uncertainty at home, etc. So again, uh, FTSE 100 continues to defy us, even with the uh, uh, weaker inflation numbers as well, even with uh, sterling approaching 1.38. Although it is off now with that uh, we see weaker inflation data. It's very, very impressive. Very, very impressive, to say the least. Okay, so uh, again, daily chart, the FTSE 100. Uh, really, we're struggling to really break above that 7800 zone. Okay, so let's see how that transpires too. Okay, folks, so uh, global rally is at work. So you have the S&P breaking to new highs, the uh, Hang Seng. Shanghai is higher, Nikkei is higher, you've got US equities higher. But the question is, have we baked in all the good news? That's the question. And that's the question I'll continue to ask. And that's the question that I'm looking at at the moment with a lot of sectors now into potential resistance. Now, with regards to the ECB news, that certainly is a game changer. OK, that certainly is a game changer. But let's see if that uh, news story or that those sources are correct, because we've certainly seen a, a contradiction very, very quickly. So let's see how that transpires at the moment. Markets certainly are in a bull mode. So we uh, have to respect that for now. We'll stop losses in place. Okay, negative week for me for this thus far, especially with my negative bearish bias. 
at the start of the week certainly has proven to be untrue. Uh, stop losses are in there to protect me. Let's see how the rest of the week transpires. Please be sure to visit TradeSignal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Certainly download the app on the Google Play and Apple App Store and be sure to visit CFDs.com to take advantage of that bonus. Goodbye now.